very excited. Let's see if it worked. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. This has been a welcome to Rocco's Sourdough Research and Development Kitchen. But no sourdough in sight today. In fact, no wheat in sight today. I decided a long time ago, a friend of mine actually had said to me, a chef in Europe said, you know Rocco, the future of pizza dough isn't just wheat. It'll be blends, it'll be lots of vegetables, it'll be something else that people want to have the healthiest product. So I've been playing with this idea for a while. And today, ta-da, this is a cauliflower. Here's the cauliflower. This, by the way, is uh, our test kitchen uh, in our home, which looks like a bomb exploded in. Sorry, Mama. No, that's not taken. It's okay. Um, so I just make a mess and then my wife kind of cleans up a lot of it with me. I do help. Anyway, back to us. Cauliflower base. I've seen a million of these things on the internet. I, I hated every single one of them. Mostly because they loaded cauliflower with uh, uh, mozzarella cheese and all this stuff. This is a very plain and logical recipe. But I got a whole bunch of stuff on the table that I played with and I ended up getting to this result, which I think is fantabulous. Let me tell you how this happened. Hang on a sec. And here we are. Okay. 200 grams of cauliflower. Let's be really honest about this. Did I go to the supermarket, buy a cauliflower, blanch it, cut it? No. I went to my trusty local supermarket. I got a packet from the freezer. It was already basically in this stage. I defrosted it in, th in the microwave, in this plate, for three minutes. And here is my cauliflower. I have now put it into my trusty little blitzer cup. 200 grams of cauliflower. Crack one egg and place that in there. Dispose of eggshell into the sink. We'll clean that up later. So now I have one egg, 200 grams of cauliflower florets. Okay, now, what did I, what else did I put in? Half a teaspoon, more or less, of baking powder, correct. Nothing too fancy. Three chickpea, chickpea flour, three heaped tablespoons, one, two, and three. Okay, I also considered using uh, lentil flour. Um, I like the, I love them both for different reasons, but more fiber, strong protein content in both of them. I think a little bit higher here, uh, but less carbs in the, um, in the, the uh, chickpea. And I think the complementary flavor between chickpea and cauliflower works for me really well. Um, considered an onion, uh, not on this recipe, but I will try onion in the future. Extra virgin olive oil, two tablespoons. And yes, it all goes in at once. Okay, so that's in to the side, and we need flavor. If you have problems with, uh, or you need a low FODMAP diet, onions are good for you. Um, and you'll probably have a problem with garlic, but thankfully we don't have that problem in this household. A little bit of extra flavor doesn't go astray with um, our famous extra virgin and Australian garlic. Now, Everything goes at once. One strong pinch of salt for every tablespoon of flour. So that's three pinches of salt. Do you want some cracked or black pepper in it? Sure, that's up to you. By the way, there's already parsley that we have uh, in our garlic mix. Say it again, no garlic from overseas, unless it's, because we can't get the Australian one, and even then we're looking at Spain, Mexico. We're definitely not looking at other places. And uh, we're gonna blitz this all together, back in a moment, because that's gonna make a lot of noise, and we'll just finish off the recipe. And we're back. Just blitzed it. All should be beautiful in the plastic cup. A little bit of extra there. Uh, I'll just show you what that uh, kind of looks like. 
nice thick texture. All right, so we've got a pan that's been heating on the stove. So this is hot. I just put a little bit of olive oil and work that through. Okay. Yes, it is quite hot. Let's just work it in. We're not looking to fry this. We just want to make sure it doesn't stick. And pour it all in. Pour it, pour it, pour it. You see, it's so easy to work. You'll be amazed. This will make a really nice, substantial base. Is it pizza? Not as I know it. Is it something that you can eat if you're having a low carb couple of weeks um, and you need to maybe detox from everything and you need to increase your fiber and carbs? Uh, sorry, reduce your carbs, increase all your natural veggie then this is something that I think could work. Medium to high. How do you know when that's done? Easy. It doesn't move now. So if I shake the pan, everything stays solid where it is. We will know that's ready to go under the grill. In other words, to finish the top of it. Once I shake this and it moves. So I'm just going to give that two, three minutes and we will be back to get it ready to go under the grill and finish the last stage of our base. And we're back. Second to last phase. We have the base in the pan. Have a look. As I said, about three minutes have gone past and here it goes. Wiggle, wiggle. Okay. That's all we need. I can't flip this. I don't want to risk it. I can't really lift it to check that it's brown. But if it's doing that, I've got lots of smoke coming, steam coming off. Vapor, um, good to go. I'm turning it off and under the grill, which should be red hot. Is it red hot? Absolutely. Oh yeah. And under the grill it goes. That's gonna brown. Another two to three minutes. Please don't burn it. And we'll be back. Top it with some mozzarella cheese and taste it. And we're back. Here it is. What do you think, Mama? Wow, that is amazing. Huh? How beautiful is that? I love that it. That little baby mm. there, ready for us to so maybe good. have a little nibble. So good. Taste some? Definitely. Okay, so just to keep it simple because we want to taste, we don't want to make it too complicated. Extra virgin, shredded mozzarella. All right. What do you think, Mama? Mm. I know that you're a mozzarella yeah, but I do like lover. The Yes. So notice I've left the grill on. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm going to do now. And parsley, but we can put that after, I think. Yeah, we can. Okay. Is that enough mozzarella for you? Yeah, let's go. Okay. We're now, here's what we're going to do. Turn off the grill because that's red raging hot. Okay. We want to make sure that we don't burn this. Okay. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to remove what I had on there, upside down pan, and I'm literally going to use the grill that it's sitting on and just put it in there, okay? All happily, yeah? We'll just leave that like that. We'll come back to that in a sec. Because I just want to explain why I even attempted this uh, crazy recipe, although all over the internet people are doing cauliflower left, right and center. My personal needs for my diet require that I have a lot more fiber for me. You know, it's just a good thing. Uh, I also wanted to have something with more fiber, less carbs and more uh, protein. And that's exactly what I made here. I'm not saying this substitutes bread or the sourdough pizza that we make. What I'm saying is, Sometimes I'm going to feel like this, and I think my wife said the same thing. Sometimes we're going to feel like something like this. And I know a lot of people, sometimes they're saying, I'm not doing carbs. And this is a great way, whether you want to do it at home and whether I make it at Rocco Pizza, I don't know we're going to make it at our restaurant, but maybe we will make a version of this. And that way, it's certainly gluten-free, that's for sure, and certainly low-carb and high-protein and high-fiber. 
So I'm experimenting. This is my test kitchen at home and I love to make these kind of recipes. All about nutritional health. That's what we're trying to do. And it's got to taste great because otherwise there's no use. All right. Let's see. I think. Yeah. We're ready to taste that, Mum? Absolutely. Okay. Now, if I wanted to get that more crunchy, I'd have to put it back in the pan because it's quite soft. But. We're going to taste it because we need to do that. And here we are. Melted cheese, beautiful base, scissors ready. Going to put a little bit of fresh parsley. And uh, it's going to be delicious. As everybody knows, I love my scissors. And, oh, I think, Mama, you're going to want... Mm, stuff with the herbs on it. I definitely want the herbal stuff and I love it and I can't wait to eat it. So I'm going to say goodbye everybody. Here it is. Yum yum. There you go. Thank you. That's for you mama. Thank you. And mm. oh, this is going to be delicious. going to fold it and take a little bit soft on the bottom. I could have crisped it up more at the start, but I'm going to go in. Mmm. So good. Really, so good. Mmm. Delicious. I can't wait till you try it, Mama. Can't wait. That's really good.